the Hebrew Bible, the five books of Moses, Deuteronomy, chapter 23. A man shall not wed his father's wife, and he shall not uncover his father's skirt. No one with crushed tester or lopped member shall come into the Lord's assembly. No misbegotten shall come into the Lord's assembly. Even his tenth generation shall not come into the Lord's assembly. No Ammonite nor Moabite shall come into the Lord's assembly. Even his tenth generation shall not come into the Lord's assembly ever. Because they did not greet you with bread and water on the way when they came out of Egypt. And for their hiring against you Balaam, son of Beor, from Aram Naharaim to curse you. But the Lord your God did not want to listen to Balaam, and the Lord your God turned the curse into blessing for you. For the Lord your God loves you. You shall not seek their well-being and their God good all your days forever. You shall not abhor an Edomite, for he is your brother. You shall not abhor an Egyptian, for you were a sojourner in his land. The sons that are born to them their third generation may come into the Lord's assembly. When you sally forth in a camp against your enemy, you shall keep yourself from every evil thing. Should there be among you a man who is not clean through an eternal emission, he shall go outside the camp and not come into the camp. And it shall be toward evening he shall bathe in water, and as the sun sets he may come inside the camp, and you shall have a marker outside the camp. We shall go there outside, we shall have a spike together with your battle gear, and it shall be when you sit outside, you shall dig with it and go back and cover your excrement. For the Lord your God walks about in the midst of your camp to rescue you and give your enemies before you, and your camp shall be holy, that he should not see among you anything shamefully exposed and turn back from you. You shall not hand over to his master a slave who escapes you from his master. With you shall stay in your midst in the place that he chooses with one of your gates, wherever is good for him. You shall not mistreat him. There shall be no called harlot from the daughters of Israel. There shall be no called catamite from the sons of Israel. You shall not bring a horse pay nor a dog's price to the house of the Lord your God for any votive offering, for both of them are the abhorrence of the Lord your God. You shall not exact interest from your brother, interest of silver, interest of food, or interest of anything that will bear interest. From the stranger you may exact interest, but from your brother you shall not exact interest, <clears throat> so that the Lord God may bless you in all that your hand reaches on the land to which you are coming to take hold of. Should you make a vow to the Lord your God, you shall not delay fulfilling it. For the Lord your God will surely require if you there would be an offense in you. And should you refrain from making a vow, there will be no offense in you. The utterance of your lips you shall keep, and you shall do as you have vowed to the Lord your God. Free will gift that you spoke with your mouth. Should you come into your fellow man's vineyard, you may eat grapes as much as you crave to your fill, but you shall not put them in your pouch. Should you come into your fellow man's standing room, you may pluck tender ears with your hand, but you shall not yield a sickle on your fellow man's standing room. Chapter 24 when a man takes a wife and beds her, it shall be if he does not find favor in his eyes. He finds in her some shamefully exposed things, and he writes her a document of divorce, and puts it in her hand and sends her away from his house, and she goes out from his house, and goes and becomes another man, and the second man hates her, and writes her a document of divorce, and puts it in her hand and sends her away from his house. And the second man who took her to him as wife dies her first husband who sent her away shall not be able to come back and take her to be his wife after she has been defiled 
for it is in abhorrence before the Lord, and you shall not lead the land to offend that the Lord your God is about to give you in his state. When a man takes a new wife, he shall not go out in the army and shall not cross over on its account for any matter. He shall be exempt in his house for a year and gladden his wife whom he has taken. One may not take and pawn a hard mill, hand mill, or an upper millstone, for one would be taking and pawn a life. Should a man be found stealing a living person of his brothers of the Israelite? and garner profit from him, and sell him. That thief shall die, and you shall root out the evil from your midst. Watch yourself in regard to the plague of skin blanch to watch carefully and to do. According to all that the Levitical priests will teach you as I have charged them, you shall watch to do. Remember what the Lord your God did to Miriam, and the way when you came out of Egypt, should you make a loan of anything to your fellow man, you shall not come into his house to take his pledge. You shall stand outside, and the man to whom you have made the loan shall bring out the pledge to you outside. And if he is a poor man, you shall not lie down in his pledge. You shall surely give the pledge back to him as the sun sets that he may lie down in his cloak and bless you, and it be a merit for you before the Lord your God. You shall not oppress a poor and needy hired worker from your brothers or from your sojourners who are in your land within your gates. In his day you shall give his wages, and the sun shall not set on him, for he is poor and his heart counts on it that he call not against you to the Lord, and there be an offense in you. Fathers shall not be put to death over sons, and sons shall not be put to death over fathers. Each man shall be put to death for his own offense. You shall not skew the case of a sojourner or an orphan, and you shall not take as Paul a widow's garment. And you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt, and the Lord your God ransomed you from there. Therefore, I do I charge you to do this thing. When you reap your harvest in your field and forget a sheaf in the field, you shall not go back to take it. For the sojourner and for the orphan and for the widow it shall be, so that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. When you beat your olive trees, you shall not strip the branches of what is left behind you. For the sojourner, or for the orphan, and for the widow it shall be. When you glean your vineyard, you shall not pluck the young grapes left behind you. For the sojourner, for the orphan, and for the widow it shall be. And you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt. Therefore do I charge you to do this thing. Chapter 25 When there is a dispute between men, they shall approach the court of justice, and they shall judge them, and find for the one in the right against the one in the wrong. And it shall be, if the one in the wrong deserves blows, the judge shall make him lie down, and have him struck before him. According to his wrongdoing in number, forty blows he may strike him, he shall not go farther, lest he go on to strike him beyond these a great many blows. And your brother seem of no account in your eyes. You shall not muzzle an ox when it thrashes. thrashes. Should you, brothers dwell together and none of them die, have no son, the wife of the dead man shall not become wife outside to a stranger. Her brother-in-law shall come to bed with her and take her to him as wife and carry out a brother-in-law's duty toward her. And it shall be the firstborn whom she bears shall be established in the name of his dead brother, that his name be not wiped out from Israel. And if the man does not want to wed his sister-in-law, his sister-in-law shall go up to the gate to the elders and say, My brother-in-law has refused to establish a name for his brother and name in Israel. He did not want to carry out a brother-in-law's duty toward me. The elders of his town shall call to him, speak to him, and if he stands and says, I do not want to wed her, 
His sister-in-law shall approach him before the eyes of the elders and slip his sandal from his foot and spit in his face and speak out and say, So shall be done to the man who will not build his brother's house, and his name shall be called in Israel. The house of the slipped off sandal should man brawl together, a man and his brother and the wife of one of them come forward to rescue her man from the hand of the one striking him. And she reach out her hand and sees his pudenda, he shall cut off her hand. You sh I shall not spare her. You shall not have in your pouch different weight stones, a big one and a small one. You shall not have in your house different epa measures, a big one and a small one. A whole and honest weight stone you shall have, a whole and honest ifa measure you shall have, so that you may enjoy length of days on the soul that the Lord your God is about to give you. For the abhorrence of the Lord your God is anyone who does all these things, who commits any fraud. Remember what Amalek did to you on the way when you came out of Egypt, how he fell upon you, on the way and cut down all the draggards with your famished and exhausted and you did not fear God and it shall be when the Lord your God grants your respite from all your enemies around in the land that the Lord your God is about to give you in a state to take hold of it you shall wipe out the remembrance of Amalek from under the heavens you shall not forget chapter 26 and it shall be when you come into the land that the Lord your God is about to give you an estate and you take hold of it and dwell in it you shall take from the first yield of all the food of the soil that you will bring from your land which the Lord your God is about to give you and you shall put it in a basket and go to the place that the Lord your God chooses to make his name dwell there and you shall come to the priest will be in those days and you shall say to him I have told today to the Lord your God that I have come into the land which the Lord swore to our fathers to give us and the priest shall take the basket from your hand and lay it down before the altar of the Lord your God and you shall speak out and say the Lord your God my father was an Aramean about to perish and he went down to Egypt and he sojourned there with a few people, and he became there a great and mighty and multitudinous nation. And the Egyptians did evil to us and abused and set upon us hard labor, and we cried out to the Lord God our fathers. And the Lord heard our voice and saw our abuse and our trouble and our oppression. And the Lord brought us out from Egypt with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm and with great terror and with signs and with portents and he brought us to his place and gave us this land a land flowing with milk and honey now look I have brought this first heel of the food of the soil that you gave me Lord and you shall lay it down before the Lord your God and you shall bow before the Lord your God and you shall rejoice in all the bounty that the Lord your God has given you and your household, you and the Levite and the sojourner who is in your midst. When you finish tithing all the tithe of your produce in the third year, the year of tithing, you shall give it to the Levite, to the sojourner, to the orphan, and to the widow, and they shall eat within your gates and be sated. And you shall say before the Lord your God, I have rooted out what is to be sanctified from the house, and what's more, I have given it to the Levite, and to the sojourner, to the orphan, and to the widow, according to all your command that you charge me. I have not transgressed your command, and I have not forgotten. I have not eaten of it in mourning, and I have not rooted it out while unclean. And I have not given of it for the dead, I have heeded the voice of the Lord, my God, according to all that you charge me, look down from your holy dwelling place from the heavens and bless your people, Israel, and the soul that you have given us 
as you swore to our fathers land flowing with milk and honey this day the Lord your God charges you to do these statutes and these laws and you shall keep and do them with all your heart and with all your being the Lord you have proclaimed today to be your God and to go in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commands and his laws and to heed his voice and the Lord has proclaimed to do to be to him a treasured people as he has spoken to you and to keep all his commands and to set you high above all the nations that he made for praise and for acclaim and for glory and for you to be a holy people to the Lord your God as he has spoken chapter 27 and Moses and the elders of Israel with him charged the people saying keep all the command that I charge you today and it shall be on the day that you cross the Jordan into the land that the Lord your God is about to give you you shall set up for yourselves great stones and coat them with plaster and you shall write on them the words of teaching when you cross over so that you may come into the land that the Lord your God is about to give you and land of flowing with milk and honey as the Lord God of your fathers has spoken to you and it shall be when you cross the Jordan you shall set up these stones that I charge you today on Mount Ebal and you shall coat them with plaster and you shall build there an altar to the Lord your God an altar of stones you shall not build iron over them whole stones you shall build the altar of the Lord your God and offer up upon it burnt offerings to the Lord your God and you shall sacrifice communal sacrifices and you shall eat there rejoice before the Lord your God and you shall write on the stones all the words of this teaching very clearly Moses and the Levitical priests with him spoke to all Israel saying be still and listen Israel this day you have become a people to the Lord your God you shall heed the voice of the Lord your God and do his commands and his statutes which I charge you today Moses charged the people on the day saying these shall stand to bless the people on Mount Gerizim as you cross to them Jordan Simeon and Levi and Judah and Isaac and Joseph and Benjamin and these shall stand over the curse on Mount Ebal Reuben glad Gad and Asher and Zebulun Dan and Naphtali and the Levites shall call out and say to every man of Israel in a loud voice cursed be the man who makes a statute or molten image the Lord's abhorrent stone masons handiwork and set it up in secret and all the people shall call out and say amen Cursed be he who treats his father and his mothers with contempt. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who moves his fellow man's landmark. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who leads a blind man astray on the road. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who skews the case of a sojourner orphan or widows. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who lies with his father's wife, for he has uncovered his father's skirt. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who lies with any beast. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who lies with his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter. And all the people say, Amen. Cursed be he who lies with his mother-in-law. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who strikes down his fellow man in secret. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who takes part payment, strike down a life innocent blood. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he who does not fulfill the words of his teaching to do them. And all the people say, Amen.